Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you all to the, for the new subscribers. And remember, I'm still trying to think of a, a word for a giveaway that I will um, like to do once I hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm still thinking about that. Either a word or an emoji. So yeah. Anyway, today's video is about um, my Felicia from Craftably. This is Frog Loving Felicia that I finished. And I finished her a, well, let's see. Let me open up my little book here. So I got this, my, oh, it's already to the page. So I finished her 912. So, um, yeah, so she took me... 53 hours and 45 minutes and 23 days. I started August 4th. So, and she was a lot of fun to work on. I really enjoyed it. And this is from Craftably. Um, so I did this with like a paint along with Amalia from Amalia's World of Color. So that was a lot of fun. And so what she did was she recharted hers um, the face so you can see that if you go to my community page there's a post there maybe I'll try to link it below so you could just click on it and not have to look for it um, so you could see how she recharted it hers came out really nice so it was a lot of fun I loved all these little frogs there's like one here one there one here and there's one on our head and there's like a dragonfly over there really pretty and her glasses are so cute and I love the way the eyes came out um, and then there were you know what I miss I'm missing three drills on here it was an AB 38 I was three short I gotta find it somewhere up in the top and I'm just since I really don't know I can't even tell I'm probably just gonna put some green drills there but so there is some gapping if you could see you could see on the face right here let me see let me take my glasses off yes yeah, so can you see it's like there is some gapping but once it's hanging up on the wall it's not like super noticeable but there was um like some up here but i was kind of trying to speed through some of it's probably my placement and then other others there is a little bit of there is some gapping um, if I was going to hang this up, I'd probably try that mica where you put the mica filling in. I probably would try that, but, um, I don't think, I'm not sure. It depends. I, I'm probably going to just roll her up and put her away, but I really like the way the eyes came out. There's some ABs in there. Um, there's some ABs on her glasses and yeah, I really like the way these flowers came out. You could really, you could tell they're flowers. So I think the the charting and the rendering is really good. And these are um, not acrylic drills. They are resin drills. I actually baked some of them and they didn't melt. If, um, from my understanding, that's one way you could tell if you have resin drills or acrylic. And I was just checking. I don't mind uh, acrylic, but I know resin is more sparkly and... So I was just checking on that. So actually, so when I write that down in my book, I would know what they were. But so yeah, and then she has like a little, I wonder what that is right there on her shirt. Maybe it's like a little frog, cause I don't see it on the little, here's the picture. So it's not gonna be a long um, video cause I really don't have much to say. It was, it was fun to work on. There is some gapping, the glue was great. Um, and I really enjoyed working on this one. So here are the drills. I had a lot of drills left over except for that. Oh, I wonder if this is, you know what? I did, I didn't run out. They're right here. I must have filled this all the way up and then I put the extras right here. So I will find where those three drills go and add the AB. So there, I didn't run out of anything actually. So as you can see, here's, I used a lot of number two. There's still some left. There's still some. So I'm gonna, when I kit down, I will save these because they were, the drills were really nice. I really love working with them. Um, these stickers, I did kind of like, the last ones stuck and I had to use the goo gone on this, which was fine. But so these ones, they're probably like this because I did 
uh, before I stuck them on, I kind of um, patted them on my pants first. Like this one's really stuck. Let's see. So this one, see how it, you got to be careful like when you're taking them off. So just just so you know that I probably should have did the washi tape thing, but I was too lazy to do that. So and sometimes I I don't mind when I do the goo on. I just kind of put some music on and just you know have fun. But yeah, so there was a lot of leftovers. I mean, a decent amount, so I didn't run out. And here's the trash. I, I did melt some of the trash though, so this is what I have. Which um, is that a lot of trash? There's also probably a little, little bit more that I melted. Uh, but as long as I had enough drills, I'm okay with that. And this was I didn't. I wanted to use this one as my cover minder, but I never glued the magnet on because I'm not sure if I'll ever use it again as a cover minder. So when I was doing the painting, I would just put it on there. I thought this macaron was really cute and it matched. But if I decide to use it again, then I'll put a magnet on. I just don't want to like waste a magnet and glue when I could use it on another one. So but yeah, so I'm gonna kit this one down. Maybe I'll do a kit down so you guys can see what I do. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out saving the drills and all, but um, yeah, so I guess that's it really. This is just a super short one just to kind of give you how many hours I worked on this, how many days. Um, I didn't have that many thoughts because I really liked it. I enjoyed it and it was just really super cute. I actually took this one on our trip going to Indiana. My husband was so kind that when we would find a hotel to stay at, he'd make sure it had like a desk in there so I could do some dime painting. So I just put it in one of those tubes that Craftably has. I think this one came in a tube. So Oh, I guess I should let you know about the symbols. So the symbols, um, did I have any trouble with them? The only thing about some of the symbols, and I've seen it in other diamond paintings as well, is sometimes the color on, on here, like let's just, for example, like let's say there was a blue, but it, it was, it looks washed out on here. So when you're looking for your symbol and then you find it, it's like a different color and it's kind of like throws you off a little bit. Like let's say with this one, it'll, it was kind of washed out on the canvas. It kind of looks like it was in the sun. I know it's, it wasn't in the sun, but that's how it looks. And I found that on other diamond paintings too. Um, so it kind of throws you off a little bit cause it super is like, I don't know, like a light color, but then when you um, get the symbol, it's a darker one. So you're like double checking to make sure it's the right color. So, um, but that was the only thing. And again, I've seen that on other canvases, so it's not just the craftably, but, um, yeah. So, and, and I didn't see any symbols that I got mixed up on. There were some that were similar in colors and I would get in my zone and then I noticed I'm putting the drills on like somewhere around this blue area. I kind of messed up a little bit, but that was because I started, um, not paying attention, I guess, or my mind was going somewhere else. And so I started putting, like, let's say, for instance, this T and the S. I started putting the S in the T section because they're kind of close in color. But that just tells you that there's some good shading going on in the painting and it was charted really good. But that was my fault for not paying attention. So, yeah, so that's it. So I really enjoyed it. If you have Frog Loving Felicia, let me know. If you've completed it, let me know that as well. And your thoughts on this painting. And this is by Sheena Pike, by the way. Sheena Pike Art and Illustrations. Legally licensed. Okay, well that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh, and put a little, um, if you watch to the end, I don't know if there's a dragonfly emoji, but if there is, uh, maybe a dragonfly or a frog. Or even glasses. So yeah, let's pick out of those three. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember to live a life filled with color because it is so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!